started out in hi-fi in the late 70s, I used to read a lot of hi-fi magazines. At that point, the prevailing wisdom was that you should put 50% at least of your money, if you're buying a new hi-fi, into the source, the turntable. So I remember seeing them recommending people buy a Lynn Sondek for a couple of hundred pounds and pay it with an AD302 amplifier, which cost about 80. And I did that and I spent about £50 on my turntable and about £25 each on the amplifier and speakers. And in retrospect I think that was a bad idea. So I'm actually going to do the opposite. I'm going to put 50% of my £100 into the speakers. And the ones I've chosen are these. And these are the Q-Acoustics 3010s. Now I got these manufacturer refurbished off eBay £49.90. As you can see, they come in a proper packaging, uh, they come with a manual, and a couple of bits of speaker cable, which look fairly decent. So, if we look at the speakers themselves, they're fairly, well, as far as I can say, they're actually new. They're unmarked. Around the back, they've got a couple of binding posts and a base reflex port. At the front, they've got a fairly small uh, base mid-range driver and a tweeter. One of the reasons I think you should spend more money on getting some fairly up-to-date speakers is if you have children, these tweeters are a magnet for them to push their fingers in. And you see lots on eBay with little din dimples and things. It's a bit like bubble wrap to them, they just can't resist it. So if you get one that's been you know, fairly recent, is in good condition, I think it'll it's well worth the money. Also, sometimes you find the rubber around the speaker uh, drivers begins to decay a bit. And the third reason is I think that speakers probably have got a more important role in the final sound you actually hear than things further up the train. So, this is where I got them. Let's see how they sound. Okay, so these are the Q Acoustics 3010s, and these are my standard speakers, which are Acoustic Energy Radiance Ones. And these retail for about 650, and these used to retail for about 150. And at this point, I should say that they're not as good, obviously, as these. They've got uh, much less bass, there's much less slam to them, and they've got a slightly rolled off treble. But having said that, I have listened to them for quite a bit and, you know, I didn't really feel a rush to change back to these. I was, I was quite, you know, quite happy listening to these, so overall I think they're definitely a keeper and for 50 quid they've been pretty good value. Right, so there we go. So I've now spent about 50% of my budget and I bought a fair pair of current speakers. Uh, there are some 3010i's you can get, but uh, you can still get the 3010s online. And the ones I got are, you know, in, as far as I can see, pristine condition. And I've also got some decent speaker cables. So I think I think that's that's pretty good. Now, when I was a teenager, I used to use a turntable as my source, and I suspect I was a teenager now, I'd probably be Bluetooth streaming from Spotify. And the temptation now is to use the uh, knob sound amplifier I got for £10 as part of my system, but um, I think I can do a bit better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a few bids for amplifiers on eBay for about maybe, you know, 10 to £20, and see how I get on. Uh, thanks for watching. If you're interested to see how things go, you're, you're more than welcome to subscribe. Otherwise, uh, thanks a lot. Bye-bye now.